Hi there girls and boys. So today we are starting a very exciting project and we are going to start growing sea monkeys. Hmm. Have you heard of sea monkeys before? Perhaps you've done this in the past and you're probably thinking, hmm, I wonder what sea monkeys are. So let's cut to the video. So what exactly are sea monkeys? Well, sea monkeys are a species of brown shrimp and they're a very, very special kind of brown shrimp because they have been made by the company to last an extra long time when they're in their eggs because they live in a state of suspended animation. What exactly is suspended animation? Well, let's find out. So suspended animation, well, that is just like hibernation. So think of animals like bears and hedgehogs that during the winter time, they go into a state of hibernation. They sleep until the springtime. Well, that's just what suspended animation is. It just takes a little bit of extra time. It's when the animal goes asleep and their body starts to function even more slowly, which means that they can live for longer periods of time. So really, sea monkeys are like kind of time travelers. So let's get going and hatching our sea monkeys. So now that you know what sea monkeys are, let's get started. So I have the sea monkeys here. This is the original sea monkeys ocean zoo. Um, and I have done this in the past, girls and boys, and knowing that sometimes it doesn't always work, I've got a backup of aqua dragons. So if this goes a little bit sideways, we always have this to back ourselves up there. So that's great to know. So I have this ready, girls and boys, and in fact, I've actually already washed it out and I didn't use any soap when I was washing it out because I read and I was looking up a few tips that sometimes the soap, if there's even a tiny bit of soap left and then you fill it with water, it can be toxic towards the sea monkey. So I've just washed it out with warm water. I've given it a good dry and we're ready to go. Now, again, I was sourcing tips, girls and boys, but because I've done this before and because I know sometimes it doesn't always work the way you want. I want it all to go swimmingly. This time, get my pond there swimmingly. So I'm gonna use bottled water. So not tap water, in fact, just bottled water. So let's put this in. So open this up and we're gonna fill it up there. And there's a little fill line here. So I'm just gonna fill that up there. Perfect. And we'll put that to the side because my sea monkeys package came with three items and they're all labeled one, two, and three. And number one is a water purifier and we're gonna pop this in here. Um, we'll give it a good stir around and that helps the water um, become just right for the sea monkeys. Okay, so here we are, we're close up. I've got the water purifier here and um, we're just going to pop it in. Oh, it's going to need a little bit of extra help here. I'm oh, going to have to use this. There we go. And I want to make sure I get as much as I can from the packet to make it as pure as possible so we can have these sea monkeys hatch and thrive. And then I'm gonna give it a really, really good stir. The recommended time is you stir it for about a minute. Just try our best there. So girls and boys, I've mixed in the water purifier and I've grabbed this from the Aqua Dragons uh, set. It didn't come with the Sea Monkey set, but because I've done a little bit of research, girls and boys, um, I hear that if you get one of these and you squirt it in like this, you can help put air into the water and this can be really, really great for the Sea Monkeys. So I'm just gonna do that a little bit there so that you can see the bubbles coming and make this as perfect as possible. We want this to be the perfect home for our lovely sea monkeys. So there we go. I'm just popping oxygen into the water. So 
girls and boys, we have put our water purifier and mixed it in for a minute uh, into our ocean zoo. And then I have used this to put more air into the water. And now, girls and boys, we've got to leave it so it can become the perfect temperature. It has to become room temperature. And unfortunately, this bottle was a little bit too cold. So what you have to do now is we've got to wait 24 hours. And 24 hours is what, girls and boys? One day. So we're gonna come back in 24 hours time to put in the instant live eggs. Exciting. Hi there girls and boys, so we are back over 24 hours later. We've let the water purifier do its thing and get the water ready for our sea monkeys. And of course, it's got to room temperature, which is really, really important. I haven't actually let it sit in the windowsill because you're not meant to put it in direct light. So I've had it in the living room, getting itself all ready to be room temperature and away from direct sunlight. So now we have to put in our instant live eggs. And they say when I was reading the instructions that as soon as we put the eggs into the water, some of them should, should hatch instantly. Now the ones that will be hatching instantly will be those that have a thinner egg. And those that are a bit thicker, it might take them a day or two to hatch. So hopefully by tomorrow morning, and when we check back in tomorrow with tomorrow's video, we'll see some very tiny live sea monkeys. So let's get going. All right, girls and boys, I have opened up our instant live eggs and let's get pouring these in. Just making sure I get everything in there. Give it a good tap. And then I'm going to get my spoon here and I'm just going to very, very gently mix this around. So girls and boys, we've put the instant live eggs into our ocean zoo. And now we're gonna check back in in the morning time to see if we spot any tiny sea monkeys um, swimming about. Now we have number three here, which is the sea monkey growth food, but we're not meant to give this until about five or six days in. So we'll get checking in with that when we have to feed them. So girls and boys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video for sea monkeys and that you tune in tomorrow to see we have any sea monkeys swimming about.